In this video we're going to look at a simple orthographic drawing and you will need a sharp pencil to do this and a ruler which is optional. Now we start off with this little 3D view of a simple house and we're going to draw three views of it, the front, the side and the top. The front view is the most important. So in this uh, image I've decided that that is the front view and it helps me to think or imagine a little person standing in front of the house and ask myself what would they be able to see, what would they be able to see? And then I pick up the pencil and I'm using a ruler in this case. You don't have to use a ruler if you don't want to. But I'm using very light lines. We call these construction lines. Incredibly light. And what I'm really trying to do here is I'm trying to judge proportion to figure out how long, how wide, how tall things are, what the gaps are between things. Okay, I'm not actually doing any measuring at this stage. Just trying to figure out the proportions, the correct widths and the correct heights and making sure that they all... Uh, look correct when compared to one another. Once I'm happy with the proportions, I'll go ahead and go over those construction lines again, but this time heavier, darker, blacker, uh, and create what's called outlines. Once this is done, I've remembered that, uh, that the chap at the front would be able to see that little step go out. So again, some construction lines go in. First of all, I find the shape and the proportion and I darken that up into outlines. Very important that you label your orthographic views as well. Okay, next up is the side view. And again, I'm going to label that side view and I'm going to imagine a little person standing at the side of the house and ask myself, what would that person be able to see? And immediately, I can start to transfer sizes across using my ruler here. Okay, and again, I'm using construction lines nice and light, but anything like the height of the roof or the height of the step, I can transfer across and make use of those sizes. I'm not measuring anything again, I'm just simply at this stage trying to figure out proportions. So that person at the side of the building would be able to see that shape of the gable end and also would be able to see a door, the width of which I'm having to guess at or judge from the 3D drawing and they'd be looking at the front of that little step as well. With the construction lines drawn, it's then a case to go back over your favourite lines, go back over your most accurate lines with a, a darker stroke and create outlines. And when we create outlines, the construction lines fade in importance away. And finally, don't forget we have to label that view uh, as well. Okay, and finally, the third and final view we need for this simple orthographic is a top view. And for this, I want you to imagine yourself flying above the house, looking down on it. Imagine yourself as a superhero or as a seagull or something like that. And again, we're going to use construction lines here. I'm going to make use of the sizes that we've already figured out for the front view. I'm going to transfer those sizes up. Now at this stage, I'm trying to figure out the width of the side. And I noticed that it was about four fingers long. But I also did a little sneaky measurement there with the ruler and decided that it was 64 millimetres wide. And I've transferred that size up. And the line which goes across uh, the roof as well. And of course, I'm going to see that little step. Uh, if I was flying above the house coming out there. So this is all construction line work. Again, it's all proportion. And now we get to the stage where we're going ahead and all those visible edges, all the edges that we'd be able to see and touch become darker and blacker and turned into outlines. And in short, that's a really simple orthographic thing. We've learned quite a few things while watching this video. Okay. Uh, we've learned that uh, we've learned where to put our orthographic drawings that we start with the front and we put the side to the side and the top on top. We also learned that at this stage only proportion is important, okay, getting the widths and the heights and the lengths of things correct. We learned how to draw light construction lines, darker outlines and finally to put labels onto our orthographic views as well.